okay so welcome back guys to the another video of the java tutorial series so today we are learning strings in java so in java string is basically an object that represents the sequence of character values an array of the characters works same as that of the java string for, uh, for example we will see in the code part so generally string is a sequence of the characters but in java string is an object that represents a sequence of the characters and it is present inside the java.lang.string class is used to create a string of the object so you, you could ask me how to create a string object so there are basically two, uh, two ways where we can create a object for a string so first way is using the string literal and the second way is using the new keyword okay so string literal is created by using the double quotes okay so let me just give an idea here itself if I create a new text, let me decrease some font size so you can see. Okay, so if I create string s that is equals to let's say welcome. Okay, and if I write this, okay, let me get it here. Ah, okay, and I will again write same text here that is string now i am changing the object name here okay like previously i write s yes. now i am writing s1 but here also here also i am giving the same string value okay that is welcome okay so here you can see s yes, i have created s1 i have created and okay and i will create another one let me create it first and I will name it as s2 now object name is s2 but the value here also I have given the same value okay I have created three object of the string s s1 and s2 and but the values which are assigned to those objects are same so inside Java what Java interprets it as this heap memory is there and inside heap memory string constant pool is there and inside that all those strings which are constant are kept here and one stack is there which maintains and and it creates one link and it's assigned that value okay so here you can see i have created three object s s1 and s2 and but this value are same and which are constant okay so that string is added inside the constant pool welcome is added and s1 and s2 which are having the same value is getting mapped with the with that value okay i hope you guys are getting so here it doesn't creates a new instance okay and this is this is where it makes the java program more efficient because new objects are created if it is already exists in the constant pool okay so another way is by using the new keyword okay in such cases jvm will create a new string object in normal that is non pool heap memory and the literal welcome will be placed in the string constal pool the variable s will refer to the object in the heap and non mem non pool okay so what i mean i will show in inside the code section so java class methods is there i will show you that later first i will let me show you how the string actually works in java okay so let me create one class name not strings strings java okay and let me increase the font size okay and inside this i will just get my main method yeah, okay so as we have discussed the first way first in our first definition we, I will write one array of characters then we'll name it as ch and I will assign value it like this let's suppose hello h is there h e again okay uh, intellij is showing me error because i have used those double braces okay let me remove this okay he 
L. Oh, sorry. H L L N O. Okay. So I have created one array of characters. Okay. I know you guys don't know what is array. We will be covering that part also in our upcoming videos. So let me create one string. Okay, string s which is equals to new string and I'll assign the way pass the value to it as ch okay and simply I will print s on the console and now if I click on run here you can see hello is getting printed okay so first we have characters means single single characters are there like h e l l o and st what string does it it concat all those characters and form one word and store inside the uh, object s okay so let's see another example let me just comment it out and i will show you another example where wait a minute i require this line for the another example i will just copy and paste it here okay and i will create another string that is s2 new st new string ch okay and i will create another string s3 and I will assign it the value string but now I am giving the hard coded value that is let's suppose example okay oh, okay example uh, now I'm trying to print that s2 and I again I will print that object s3 okay and if I click on run now what will happen see he see here hello is getting printed that is a uh, it will concat concat all those characters of the strings character array and store it inside the object s2 and inside object s3 or oh, example is the string which is get stored inside it okay enough talking about the example so in java there are multiple methods so here you can see a whole bunch of list is here of around 28 methods are there which are declared inside the string class in java so i will give you one link where you can see the implementation of part of this all these methods i want you to try all playing with this all methods for but first of all let me show you some important one okay i will show you some important one which are required in our java code okay so let me just comment it out and here hmm. okay so i'll be giving you the example of string to lower case there is method inside the string class that's name to lower case this method returns the string in the lower case letters okay in another word it converts all this character of the string into the lower case okay let me give you an example so that you can understand better okay so if i create one string name s1 i mean i will assign it value as let's suppose okay uh, let let me give you the straightforward method s1 is equals to let's suppose i have created h and let me caps lock uh, hello world is there okay so here you can see i have created one s1 object and i have stored uh, string hello world inside it okay so if i try to print that string okay let me out okay so if i want to print this i will simply sound the s1 okay that is system dot out dot println okay so again if i try to print s1 but i will do some modification okay so i will write s1 dot 
So you can see a whole bunch of methods which are implemented inside the Java are displayed here. So we want two lowercase. Two lowercase is here and we will simply put this. And if now if I click on run, let's see. See you can here you can see hello world is the original string where all the all the alphabets are in capital format. Okay. And if I uh, apply the two lowercase method over it string and then it will convert all those alphabets into the lowercase format and it will print to the con print on the console okay similarly all those methods which are implemented in inside the string class are over here you can go on that website and check it out similarly two lowercase is there and two uppercase is there which will convert all those uh, strings alphabet into the uppercase format if, if there are any in the in your string similarly trim is there index of is there and one more we can uh, use is caret and int length it returns the string length this is also an important met uh, method which which come into picture when we are using java arrays okay we will discuss that and when we try to learn java arrays okay so enough about enough talking about the strings i hope you get the idea about string what are the string in java Okay, thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.